katu kabing ko, magadet sa ngaw, marimi magapot yao gali ng umang mabisita kani Our Lady of Piat. In Nuestra Señora de Piat, nasikan ng mga fun at mga italak kang mi nya pinaratu kanya mundo. Arika kurug akagayano, no arika nga deboto na yen atam ngamin. Ano arika makitaful tamaski mitan tatolan. There is one place in Cagayan that truly defines the Cagayano and his virtues and aspirations, where for centuries, peoples of all walks of life have made sacrifices to visit. Perched atop a hill in the town of Piat Cagayan, overlooking the vast river plains of the Itawes, stands the Basilica Shrine of Nuestra Señora de la Visitación de Piat. Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other disease and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions. For the benefactors and friends of the Basilica, and for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition in our, in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, 
Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we have gathered together to celebrate the sacred sacraments of anointing and Eucharist. Christ is always present when we gather in His name, most especially during this pandemic. With, with eyes fixed on Christ and His merciful face. Today, we welcome Him especially as physician and healer. Today, we specially pray that the sick may be restored to health with the gift of His mercy and made whole in His life. Let us ask Mary, health of the sick, to intercede for us. As she, as she was at the foot of the cross, when her son was suffering and in pain, we ask her to be with us and accompany our sick brothers and sisters in their pain. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in, our, in hearts, that are just and true. Grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. I have told Jezebel all that Elijah had done, that he had put all the prophets to the sword. Jezebel then sent a messenger to Elijah and said, May the gods do thus and so to me, if by this time tomorrow I have not done with your life what was done to each of them. Elijah was afraid and fled for his life, going to Beersheba of Judah. He left his servant there and went a day's journey into the desert until he came to a broom tree and sat beside it. He prayed for death. This is enough, O oh Lord. Take my life for I am no better than my father's. He lay down and fell asleep under the broom tree, but then an angel touched him and ordered him to get up and eat. He looked there at his head was a hard cake and a jug of water. After he ate and drank, he lay down again, 
But the angel of the Lord came back a second time, touched him, and ordered, Get up and eat, else the journey will be too long for you. He got up, ate and drank. Then, strengthened by that food, he walked forty days and forty nights to the mountain of God, Horeb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My God, come quickly to help me. My God, come quickly to help me. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. My God, come quick to help me. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. My God, come quick to help me. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, with your glory day by day. Cast me not off in my old age, as my strength fails, forsake me not. My God, come quick to help me. But I will always hope and praise you evermore and more. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation, though I know not their extent. My God, come quick to help me. A reading from the letter of James. Beloved, is anyone among you suffering? He should pray. Is anyone in good spirits? He should sing praise. Is anyone among you sick? He should summon the presbyters of the church, and they should pray over him, and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord, and the prayer of faith will save the sick person, and the Lord will raise him up. If he has committed any sins, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The fervent prayer of a righteous person is very powerful. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, for firmly believing that the promises of the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a scholar of the law. He stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jer Jericho. They stripped and beat him and went off leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the road, that road. But when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place. And when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim poured oil and wine over his wounds, 
and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with instruction, Take care of him. If you spend more than what I, give, I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, The one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, And go and do likewise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa ating celebration ngayong araw na to, may dalawa po tayong okasyon. First, we celebrate the memorial of Our Lady of Lourdes. And second, ay the World Day of the Sick. Bakit kaya mahalaga ang kapistahan ni Our Lady of Lourdes sa ating simbahan at ano ang connection niya sa World Day of the Sick. Mahalaga siya kasi noong February 11, 1858, young lady appeared to Bernadette Siviros identifying herself as the Immaculate Conception, appearing to the young Bernadette in pure white gown and mantle with an azure blue girdled 18 times during that year. Mary called on people to personal conversion, prayer, and charity. Kaya nga habang tumatagal, dumadami ang nagpupunta at nagdarasal sa binang birhen ng Lourdes. Kasi nga po, to seek the mater maternal intercession of Mary. Marami na tayong naririnig or nababalitaan ng milagro ang binibigay ni Our Lady of Lords sa mga tao, especially to those who are sick persons. They pray earnestly to Mary for healing. At according sa nabasa ko po na komentaryo about Our Lady of Lords, those pilgrims who visited uh, the Our Lady of Lords, their healing experiences are more spiritual than physical. It is because those who are sick who came back home can now accept their sickness and offer it as a sacrifice for the conversion of sinners. Kung titignan natin ang gandang realization na despite of their pains and sicknesses, they can still transform it into sacrifice. Because beautiful experience, kumbaga. At hindi lang po sa Lords, merong ganitong experiences ang mga tao. But even here in our place, especially to Our Lady of Piat, madami na pong milagro ang nangyari at binahagi ang ating inang birhen sa atin. Kaya kung iisipin natin, sa kanilang pananampalataya at tiwala sa Diyos at sa inang birhen na palalim pa ang kanilang ugnayan sa isa't isa. Ano mang hirap o sakit ang dumating sa kanila, alam nila na merong tutulong sa kanila. May Diyos na handang tumulong sa kanila. Today also is World Day of the Sick. We remember our dear brothers and sisters who are suffering from sickness, especially those affected by this pandemic. We know that many people are suffering in this time of pandemic. We offer this Mass for them. February 11 serves as the purpose of reminding the members of the Church of the healing ministry of the Church. It reminds us of our Christian obligation to attend to the sick, and the suffering that is all around us. This day has been set aside to show our gratitude to all 
to all those who model after Jesus, the doctors, nurses, health workers, our frontliners, the pastor, pastoral ministers, and all those who are striving to restore the health of the sea. Sabi nga nila, even, but even without going to the Lord's Grotto in Lord's France, we can still experience the healing power of God through the intercession of our Heavenly Mother. Let us continue as the intercession of our dear Mother, our Lady of Piat, to heal us and protect us from all danger. Amen. Please all stand. We bring our needs and prayers before our Heavenly Father. In every petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for a world at this time. May the Lord grant healing and comfort to those who are sweet, especially those afflicted by coronavirus. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all frontliners, the health workers, the police force, and the clergy who are working with those who are sick. May the Lord protect them and strengthen them as they care in your name. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray for our civil leaders. May the Lord inspire them to make wise decisions during this time of pandemic, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our scientists. May the Lord enlighten them as they work to understand what is happening. Guide their work as they strive to find ways to treat and protect us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who suffer in any way at this time. The poor, the hungry, the homeless, those who suffer from persecution, war, violence, those who are depressed, lonely or sad. May the Lord help them in their need. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for a spirit of charity among our fellow countrymen and women. May the Lord, at this time of national crisis, inspire us to be generous and to look out for and care for each other. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause to pray for our own private intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our loved ones who have died. May the Lord enfold them ever more closely in your loving embrace. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all in this holy church. May the oblation, this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those you who do your will, the source of eternal reward, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to be right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our, Redeemer, our Lord and Redeemer, to always show compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners. And he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, when we are gathered by His love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, He opens the Scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, for the merciful Father, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On that, on that day before he was suffered, and the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and, and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which you show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed unto us, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we, we have communion. Being your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope and Ricardo our Bishop, with all the bishop, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, inspiring us words and actions.
to comfort those who labor in our burden, make us serve them truly after the example of Christ at His command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to, new, to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen in, asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you have alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face. In the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the might Apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray the ark of his spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually to my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Please all stand.
Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for the food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Let us pray the mission prayer. God, our loving Father, you sent your Son into the world to proclaim the good news of salvation to all. To sinners, the poor, oppressed, the sick, the abandoned and neglected, he gave his life on the cross for us and rose again to new life to redeem us and reconcile us with you. You sent your Holy Spirit to the apostles to continue the work of your Son and to lead all to salvation. We thank you, Father, for bringing us from darkness into light to your loving plan 500 years ago. Missionaries came to our land to proclaim the gospel of Jesus, your son, to our ancestors that made us your people in the church. The gift of faith has accompanied us through both darkness and lights, the feats and victories of our history as your people. Our faith has become for us true light that shines in the darkness. Renew in us the grace of your spirit that impels us to be witnesses of Jesus, your son, to a world broken by greed, violence, injustice, sickness, and suffering. May our faith bring us to unity as your children, to care for and love one another. May the Holy Spirit empower us to be proclaimers of the good news to our brothers and sisters in Asia and to all nations. Give us a sincere desire to help others to come to faith in the Lord Jesus to share in your joy and life. May the Blessed Mother, the star of evangelization, accompany us and pray for us as we live and share our faith with others. May our strong love and devotion to her as our mahal na ina from us to be true disciples and witnesses of Jesus to all, always ready to be sent and to be obedient to whatever Jesus asks of us. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of Pierre. Pray for us. Please all stand. May we ask all of you, my dear brothers and sisters, to join me in the prayer for the sea. Father, you sent your Son, accepted our sufferings, to teach us the virtue of patience in human illness. Hear the prayers we offer for our sick brothers and sisters. May all who suffer pain, illness, or disease realize that they have been chosen to be saints and know that they are joined to Christ, who is suffering for the salvation of the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God the Father bless you. May the Son of God heal you. May the Holy Spirit shed light up upon you. May God, may God guard your body and save your soul. May He enlighten your heart and lead you to life on I. And may Almighty God bless of you, all of you who gathered here in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, true contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, 
while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Day no dearest mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.